Every time I see a photo of myself, I'm like, I should wear more mascara. My name's Rebecca Jewell. I'm the recycling program manager at Davis Street Transfer Station in San Leandro, California. That Pacific Gyre is a place of legend in the recycling community. It is exactly what the boogeyman that recyclers tell their children about that will leap up out of the Pacific Ocean and gobble us all up. The awareness of it and even exactly what it makes up is one that's difficult for most people to get their heads around. So raising the awareness of the Pacific Gyre and of plastics in general is very important and my hope is that you simply divert it for a while and you bring all those bottles wherever they end up at the other end of the life of the plastiki and you put them into the recycling stream so that they can continue on their way after they've taken this specific journey of geography, then they can finish out their journey through the materials reclamation process, which is probably less picturesque. I was working in a, a warehouse area for the secondhand store, and 40% of what is donated to thrift, community thrift, is not sellable in the United States. It's a huge thing to say, actually. It's kind of an upsetting thing to think about. Everybody makes donation in plastic bags and cardboard boxes, and we would have cardboard boxes that would go to the roof, and it was only two days worth of cardboard boxes, and I had to go find volunteers who were willing to come and cut boxes down. Like, that's their whole job, is just come in and collapse the boxes, make them two-dimensional from three-dimensional. Like, that's a stupid... The like use of human time when you could do it differently and better. I think the conversation that we have been having over the most recent couple years around your carbon footprint, that many people feel powerless about what they can do about their carbon footprint. They think to themselves that there are un- negotiable facts about their life which cannot be changed in order to reduce their carbon footprint. I have a kid or four kids and I need a big car. My job requires that I fly three times a year across the country, but I recycle. I think these are people who feel like this is their one opportunity to really participate in reducing the global carbon footprint, which it actually does. I think that many people do hold those materials in their hands as they hover over those three bins, feeling to themselves like they are almost holding their own persons in their hands. If I throw it into the wrong one, some, the wrath of God will come down on me and with furious anger and great vengeance because of my lack of decision making. I think that many people feel like that recycling is a great way to have a very strong participation in their reduction of their personal carbon footprint. And it's something that's very tangible every single day. You can send it to have another life or you can send it into oblivion.